If you can remember back to when we imported the four folders of images we're viewing here, we actually imported them into our photography G drive. We placed them in a folder called finished images and within there we had the year 2014 because at some stage we could have 2013 and we're certainly going to have 2015. But we don't actually see the root of where these images are all located. So if I wanted to view all of these images in one go, I have to reveal that parent, so to speak. So if I select April at the top there and right click, I can show the parent folder, which is 2014. So when I select that, now I'm looking at all 313 of the images within my folder. Just a small point. But back to our collections and what we're going to look at here are quick collections. So quick collections are our third option and I tend to think of these as more short-term options. Something we're going to be using in the next few minutes perhaps or while we're working on a project right now. But they don't have to be short-term of course, that's just the way I tend to think of them. And we don't have to create quick collections, the option sits there all of the time. So let's think of a reason why we may want a quick collection. I could be looking through a batch of family photos, wedding photos, anything we choose, because we need to choose six images to be printed, perhaps. Now we can do that quite easily. Let's work down these and select the images we want. All we need to do is to scroll down in the normal way. When we see anything that takes our fancy and we decide we're going to include that in our printing, if we go onto the image, do you see that little circle that appears at the top right of the thumbnail? See what it says when I hover over it? Add this photo to our quick collection. As I click that, you can see the quick collection count over on the left hand side has now increased to one. Now we can do this with any of these images and just click them and I'll just pick a few almost at random just to give us something in there and when we go to that and select it then we are just shown our quick collection already waiting for us to decide what we want to do to print them or add them to any other project. Now although this is a quick collection we don't lose anything if I close Lightroom down and I come back another day tomorrow or even next week. Because when Lightroom reopens it's going to remember the catalogue we were working in and it's going to retain our quick collection for us. To remove images from the quick collection well we just click the little circle again. It's as simple as that. 